What's going on? We back with the Boxing Clinic of Morris, your boy CJ Goodfella. And, uh, you know, just got done watching Joseph Parker versus Anthony Joshua. And it was, eh, it was all right. I mean, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And I don't put that on Anthony Joshua. I put that on Joseph Parker. In my opinion, Parker came to survive. He didn't try to go for it. You know, when he did went, go for it, the one time that I do really remember him trying to press the action, um, the star of the show, the ref, Comprion, whatever this guy's name is, he stole the show. You know, this is a horrible referee fight, and this is probably the bullshit that Deontay Wilder is talking about going over to the U.K., dealing with the refs. And I remember that ref in the first Frost fight with, with, with Groves, and the referee in over there is terrible. Seemed like he was on the payroll tonight, but it didn't matter regardless. Anthony Joshua 100% earned the victory. Down the stretch, he swept those rounds, the championship rounds, and some before that. And, you know, Parker was just there to get a payday. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. A lot of y'all trying to look for a moral victory. I'm watching the boxing threads and shit like that. Just looking, well, Parker doing better than expected. No, he didn't do better than shit. He didn't try. You know, his jab kept him alive, and his movement, his irky-jerky movement kept him alive. You know, and that's what it was. Other than that, did he go for the kill? Absolutely not. Like, a handful of times he went for the kill. You know, he didn't do shit special. He didn't try to really hurt AJ. And then when he did punch and touch AJ on the head, AJ was was wibbly-wobbly. He was he was feeling those punches. You could tell his reaction wasn't too confident in his chin. But guess what? He did what a true champion did do. Strapped his nuts on. And he said, all right, since you want to get aggressive, I'm about to get aggressive. And it was basically, you know, his aggression versus Joseph Parker aggression. Well, not non-aggression. And, you know, it was what it was. Did Joshua land anything really significant? Not so much. You know, he didn't. This is basically like a girl fight where the, both of the girls was was aggressive and grabbing here. But nobody really landed an impactful, an impactful punch for real. Joshua won off of size, you know, and, and just being aggressive. He didn't have to be effective aggressive. Because Joseph Parker wasn't aggressive at all. He wasn't effective. You know, fuck all them motherfuckers talking about, oh, he did better than expected. No, he didn't. He did what it's, the only thing he didn't do was 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 go for it. He didn't go for it. And if he would have go went for it, he probably would have got a stop. Is what he got stopped. And I think it would have been more of the latter. He would have got stopped. And, you know, it is what it was. You know, Anthony Joshua most definitely earned the victory. No if and about. This wasn't a close fight. You know, I don't agree with the 118-119, 118-108 card and 119-109 card. I don't agree with that. But it wasn't too far off from it. You know, when you go to the UK, you got to beat anybody's country. You got to really beat the champ and take chances. And Parker didn't do that. You know, he did some good body work. But did he really sell out to the head multiple times? No. You know, if you're going to do all that body work, then you got to, you know, dress him up and go to the head. And he didn't do that. This dude did not be aggressive. He did not try to stand. Well, he couldn't stay on the inside because the ref was on some whole shit. But in my opinion, like I told y'all, Anthony Joshua ain't shit. You know, I'm not saying Deontay Wilder is even shit. That's why people don't listen to what I say. I don't rate, I don't rate Wilder high. I don't rate any heavyweight high. This shit is, is, is beyond watered down. This ain't no real heavyweights fighting in there. The only reason that people are bagging Deontay Wilder in the black community or the LDBC, whatever you want to say, is bagging Deontay Wilder because you post too. You post the bag him. You feel me? You know, people say, oh, you're Wilder fanboys. What the fuck wrong with being a Wilder fanboy for real, being a Wilder supporter? You got a thousand, a billion motherfucking Anthony Joshua fanboys, but as soon as you support a black American, it's an issue. You know what I'm saying? So anybody that's saying that Wilder fanboy shit, eat a dick for real. Fuck you. And fuck what you stand for. You mean me? Because Anthony Joshua, he ain't shit neither. He can't take it on his jaw. Every time he was touched to the head tonight, this motherfucker wibbly wobbled. That's what he was doing. He ain't confident. He can't really fight. Even though he's fundamentally and more technical than, than Wilder, that don't mean shit. You know, it don't. You know, because he ain't shit neither. He got an okay jab, an average left hook. And he just head hunts with the right hand. Y'all talk about Deontay head hunting with the right hand. You know what I'm saying? And he got an uppercut if you can get in close. You know what I'm saying? What what else does he do good? He don't have no skills for real. And Joseph Parker, y'all gonna try to make him seem something he ain't. He ain't shit. He ain't shit. I said that before the fight. He proved me not to be shit. He didn't do shit. This nigga ain't no top fighter in the world. He not better than Luis Ortiz. He wasn't better than a 41-year-old Vladimir Klitschko. And he probably not better than an out-of-shape uh, Tyson Fury right now. You know? I never rated him highly. And I said that to the lead-up to the fight. And guess what? 
he doubled down for me and to prove that he wasn't shit. I didn't see nothing spectacular other than some 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 shoulder movement, rolling the shoulder, knowing that Joshua was was right hand trigger happy, and that's it. You know, uh, Joshua was very predictable with the right hand. You know, ooh, hand clap. You know, who the fuck couldn't see that coming? Joshua was loading up with punches all night. Anybody could have evaded those punches. And I'm telling you guys right now, man, I'm changing my views, man. Wilder knocks this guy out if Cumberon isn't the referee. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, Joshua ain't shit, bro. And I ain't saying Wilder is neither. I'm just saying Wilder is dog shit and Joshua's cat shit. He said, you know, then he tries to, you know, you know, you, you like, I'm from, like, I'm, I live in the hood, you know, I grew up in the hood. That don't really mean shit. But it means shit right here. And you know what I mean? Like, I grew up in the hood. I could read body language. I could read bullshit. And the bullshit was, when he was really asked about fighting Deontay Wilder, then he played the joke and tried to mimic Dylan White. Anytime a nigga, when it's serious, anytime a nigga, you know, you know, start playing jokes and trying to play roles and laughing and trying to be funny with it and try to be hysterical, dog, that means they don't want no parts of it, dog. You ask anybody from the hood, bro. Ask anybody that speak that hood language or what they can read, you know, Read body language or read, you know, verbal logistics, whatever you want to say. Anytime a nigga try to ask a serious question and they, and they rebuttal their answer, it's a joke. I'm trying to tell y'all guys he don't want the smoke. Real shit. They don't want the smoke. What did he say? Mr. 2020, Anthony Joshua. Mr. 2019. I'd be ready for water in 20. I'd be water in 2020. You know, he said, only got 21 fights and this. That ain't hard to do. Hand clap, bro. You got 20, 21, you know, 21 fights and three to four titles. You can count the IBO. I don't give a fuck about how many fights you got there. Is you ready to fight the biggest rival of your career? Are you ready to fight Deontay Wilder? And you answer with a joke. And we know the fight not happening next. He said, let's get the business so done. Shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. Y'all some hoes over there at the Iron Match Room. I'm just keeping it real. If the fight happened next, then I'd be a little bitch named Susie Q in the dress. And I'm not going to because it's not going to happen next. Like, he was jokingly playing around, trying to be like Dylan, Dylan White. He don't want that fight, bro. He don't want the fight. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. It was a good performance by Joshua. Piss poor by Joe Sapar.